right here. This is the shot I wanted to get. This is perfect. That went well, I think. I think it looked nice. At least I hope. But yeah, that was... I'm so happy I got this setting fixed. Now I know. Trying a new style of video today. Gonna be doing a bit of a different style for like the next week or so, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. So yeah, um, I'm going on a trip tomorrow. We leave at 9 a.m. for Nova Scotia, so I'm actually gonna have plenty of time to make plenty of videos because it's just gonna be a week of having nothing to do, no work. If you guys don't know, I have a part-time job, it kind of stinks, whatever. So basically, I want to try out this style of video because I found myself getting kind of bored with the style that I've been shooting as of late. So this is just me sort of branching out, seeing what I can do, and I really, really, really do hope you guys enjoy it. They're talking about the Jays. Sports Center, TSN. I am so excited for that. If you guys don't know, I am an absolutely massive Toronto Blue Jays fan. We're in the ALCS. We're going to be facing off against the Cleveland Indians tonight at... Hmm, what time are we doing that tonight? 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So, I mean, I know you guys may be seeing this after that game is over. But anyways, regardless, they're in the playoffs, they're in the ALCS, and hopefully we can win, make the World Series, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah. It looks like his muscles are going to bulge right out of his suit jacket. Jeez, Dutchie, stop working out. You're getting too jacked. That's Darren Detation, just one of the reporters on TSN. Actually, that, if you guys don't know, is my dream job. I'm going to college in January um, for journalism, and I kind of want to be a sports reporter. It's kind of a dream of mine, but that's sort of off the record here. Anyways, so I have to go pack and shower because I have a 4 to 9.30 shift tonight at work, and I, my flight leaves at 9 a.m. tomorrow. So this is kind of the only time I'm going to have to pack these, like, seven hours or so. Um, so, yeah. Let's go shower. Let's go pack. Let's get a moving with it. I find myself to be a fairly honest person, and I'm going to be really honest with you guys right now. This is one of the greatest pur purchases a person can ever make. A decent Bluetooth speaker like this Bose SoundLink. It's the best. I bring it everywhere I go. Whenever I have the opportunity to just play some music, I will. Like when I work closing shifts at work, we'll close down the store, you know, and I'll just pop the singer, play some tunes, and it really helps at least me get through that hour we take to close and clean the store. But yeah, honestly, if you can, get one. I really should be showering right now, but I need to show you guys a weird obsession that I have with buying blue jays hats. Where did my other jays hat go? This could be a problem. I can't seem to find... I have three jays hats. One, two, well, two, three, so technically four. Where... I gotta clean this up. Where... I wore it yesterday to work because my work is actually letting us wear our Jays hats if we want to in support of the Jays. But I don't know where it is. I wore it out yesterday. It wasn't on. Oh, jeez. It was a 2015. Postseason hat was. Um, I'm slightly concerned because I actually had a really cool bit to show you guys, and now I don't know where it is, so I can't do the bit. Now I'm kind of sad. 
Now, some of you may not realize how important this is to me, but this is my brand new Jays hat. It's a 2016 postseason hat. I got Polar's signature on it. Just because, like, I wanted it as a memorabilia, so I had the 2015 hat with the 2015 patch on it. And I really wanted to just have one for each year of the postseason that the Jays made the playoffs because it's like I can look back on it and say, oh yeah, I remember the 2015 and 2016 playoffs. But now, this is the only one I have. And um, I'm slightly concerned. Now you guys may be wondering, what's that whole hair situation I got going on? That bedhead and hat head for the past like two days. Um, I need to shower like really badly. Now if you are on Spotify, look up the bay list, follow it. It's like 16, so it's, it's now 17 hours. I want to capture this. Focus. Regardless, 17 hours on the dot, 17 hours. That's pretty awesome. Wait, so I'm playing music. Music is playing and it's not coming into the speaker. This is my problem. See, it's coming out of my phone. It's doing it. Okay, it's doing it on camera. So it just doesn't want to connect. It says it is, but it's lying to me. It's a, it's a cold hard liar. It says connected to Nexus 6B and connected it's not. To okay, Nexus 6B. we're connected. Oh, yay! We have music. Yay. Why doesn't the door close and you slam it? I don't understand. I just realized it would be very wise of me to do some laundry before I get in the shower so I have clean, fresh clothes to put in my suitcase for tomorrow. Here's the thing. I am the worst person at doing laundry Ever. The thing is, is I don't like separate between loads and stuff. I just put everything in one load and call it a day. So let's do that. I know what you're thinking, Zach. Isn't that your other Jay's hat? No. It doesn't have the postseason patch on the side and it's like a billion years old. Let's do this. Also, also my favorite sweater right here. Found it. If you guys watch Doctor Who, you're cool. Okay, so, woo! Okay, maybe I was false in saying that I put everything with everything. I'm not stupid enough to put whites with blacks, okay? I'm not that stupid. All right, let's go do some laundry. So like, I really haven't actually traveled in like a really long time. So I think the last time I was on a plane was to the same place I'm going, which was like four years ago, approximately. So haven't actually traveled in a while. So this whole packing thing and, and traveling is really gonna be all new to me. Oh, and if you couldn't tell, you're in my washing machine. Bye. So yeah, we're gonna let that run. And while that's doing that, we're gonna go cleanse my body. That was weird, I apologize for that. I love showering. Seriously, it's the best. You know you just sort of in the shower and you contemplate life? Yeah, that's happening. I don't know, your thoughts just sort of start rolling whenever you get in the shower. It's weird, you know? It's like... Weird! It's not a well-known fact that some of the greatest ideas have actually come from people who had ideas getting ideas in the shower.
because I guess genres just spark creative thoughts. I don't know. Like the, the, the television that was created in the show. No, but. Like, Well, I know it's kind of contradictory in terms of showering to put the same clothes you just had on back on after showering. But I mean, it's not like they were dirty, they're just pajamas. Now, I, 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 I'm I, going, hopefully going in with a friend later because I need to go to Best Buy to get a new camera. I've, I've, I've texted him and hopefully we're going out. Oh, hold on. I can see myself in the mirror. You guys can't see that though because there's a mirror. Hi. How's it going? Anyways, so yeah, I am going out to Best Buy, hopefully with my friend, hopefully doing something else, maybe getting lunch or something. Oh, that's a problem. Maybe getting lunch or something. I don't know. I just kind of like going out because, you know, I've been working this whole past week and I had to get the weekend off, so I had to work a lot, a crap ton, so yeah. I have lived in this house for 10 years and of all those 10 years, their shingles on their shed there have always been that disgusting and they're always filled with like raccoon poop and stuff and like we have such a nice backyard and that just ruins it and it sucks because they can't see it so they don't even know it's there and we just haven't bothered to tell them so it's kind of a problem let's watch this oh so it looks like the Jets won last night I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this, but I love Himalayan salt lamps. I just think they're cool looking and pretty. I, I, I don't know. I like them. I like them. So since I'm going out, I'm going to have to charge the camera battery because I only have one, unfortunately. And I want to go out and capture what I'm doing out there. So, unfortunately, you're going to miss part of the blog, the blog, vlog, vlog here. I'm not going to be recording for like a couple hours or so, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. So I'm back and just a little update. I found the Jay's hat. It's here. It was in that one spot I checked earlier on like that little coat rack thingy. I don't know why I couldn't find it earlier, but I found it if you notice. Oh, by the way, I got some packing ready for the trip. If you guys know about the whole Jose Fernandez thing, uh, Jose Fernandez was a pitcher for them, the Miami Marlins that tragically passed away earlier this year, and a bunch of pitchers have been putting JF16, because he wore the number 16 on their hats, and we have those little white marker things at my place where I work, so yeah, I found the hat, and Eric's going to be here in 10 minutes to pick me up, we're going to go to Best Buy, I'm going to get a new tripod, and it's going to be great to see you then. Now I have to make a decision. Do I go with the Jay's hat or, oops, the Bass Pro hat? Now if I go Bass Pro hat, I can go Bass Pro hat forwards or backwards. I kind of like the way it looks. I mean, I don't know, let's take a look at this. Oh, it actually looks kind of good. And then Jay's hat. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I think I'm going to decide to go with the Jays hat. Because, you know, they're playing today, so I should support them. Hello. Hello. I'm starting this. Oh boy. Vlogging. So, yeah, oh. so <laughs> that's why we're going to Best Buy. The vlog? Yeah, so oh, I need a tripod. <laughs> so these two humans sitting in front of me didn't know I was going to be doing this, but they are two humans that have supported me through Red Leaf Teching. So I figured they'd be okay with this. Probably not. I'm probably freaking them. We actually hate you, Zach. Tech out right now. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to try something new, so... You know what? Change up the style a bit. Not partying every day? He has nothing to send me? 
Open the doors. Okay. <laughs> That's right, I want to get out. That close? We here at Subway. If it ever focuses. No, okay. So we're here at Subway, then we're gonna go head over to Best Buy, get myself a new tripod. Let's do it. I'm gonna do a um, foot long steak and cheese on white flat face. Chicken cheesy one? Perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's just sort of stuck. Oh, oh, he's turning around now. What's he doing? These tomatoes are absolutely perfect. That's beautiful. We're here at Subway. They have an apple pie cookie. Let's try it. Uh, does not look like an apple pie. Let's see if it tastes like it. Guys. Us guys are them guys. Both of you. <laughs> How great is it? it? Tastes like apple pie. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Wanna try it, please? So you're telling me the apple pie cookie tastes like apple pie? No, it does not I feel like I'm actually tasting apple pie. It's like apple pie, but also like an air freshener. <laughs> you know apple cinnamon air I'm freshener? I'm assuming you can't eat this, Eric. No. You know apple like, pie, or like apple cinnamon air freshener? Yeah. That was worse. <laughs> that was better. <laughs> Red leaf bloopers. Dang it. So like they have these little thingies. I don't know what that is. Me neither. It's like this little apple stuff that I'm not even sure exactly what it is. It tastes like apple pie. I'm concerned. This is like this is like food science. So definitely, if you come to a subway and they have the apple pie cookies, you have two people here. Are you okay on camera? Yeah. Two people here. I'd give it a 8 out of 10. i give it like a 6, but if you like the taste of air fresheners, you know, it could be cool. I frequently eat air fresheners, so that's okay. <laughs> oh, Henry's is there? Yo, we almost yeah, at Best Buy. Asking, we almost at Best Buy. What's up, Jenna's Snapchat story? Hi. How's it going? I hope you're doing great. Oh, that's a pretty shot. Cool. Anyways, yeah, so we're pretty much pretty at Best Buy. I think I'm like way too zoomed out, but whatever. Yeah, we're almost at Best Buy, gonna get that tripod action going, and then these videos will get better because this stupid metal one's gonna be gone. They have not what I'm looking for. They said they had it online. It is not. It's not here. I don't see it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do my least favorite thing and actually ask an employee. We got it. Joby. Gorillapod SLR zoom and ball head. It comes with the ball head. Only $64.99. Not bad. Not bad. This is exactly what I want and need. This is goals. But why? Which one? That's beautiful. How much is. Th There's not even a price for it. Notice how it says keep going rain or shine instead of keep going even if it explodes. <laughs> so we have the Note 7 here. Oh, oh wait. It, it exploded. So we got it. I'm good, man. But to mount it right onto the camera, let's do it. So here's the first shot with the new tripod. It probably does not look any different on your end, but you know what? It's so much easier on my end. It's looks pretty fancy from our end. It looks pretty swanky. I'm not gonna lie, and it's gonna help me get a lot of better shots in. So hopefully this does help production and such. So yeah. So why would you want to go trick or treating at a mall? Um, if you have like a two-year-old kid and you want them to go trick or treating, and, like the kid wants to go trick or treating, but you don't feel comfortable letting them walk around in the streets, you know? Well, if the kid's two, he's not gonna be able to walk anyways. Two-year-olds can walk, Zach. Yeah. 
Oh, they can? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now everyone knows that I would be a terrible parent. Yeah, no, they dug up the whole area. Whoa. Like the gazebo's dead. Stuff is happening. You can't see that down there, but stuff is happening down there. That's news to me. We're here at Burl Oak Waterfront Park. Beautiful place to be. So, you know, since my friends left me, I guess, I guess I sort of have a second here to sort of appreciate the nature. You know, I got Lake Ontario just right behind me there, and you know, it's just nice, you know? With the mulch, you guys are sitting on a tree stump right now, but regardless, it's very nice. I'm gonna try and get some, uh, some good footage of this park for you guys, and yeah, let's go do it. Just right behind me is Lake Ontario. I really hope my camera doesn't die during this shot because this is actually a nice shot, but um, this water is actually really clear and really clean. Anyways, yeah, so I figured this is a better way to end off the vlog. Um, I guess I'll see you guys again tomorrow when I'm getting ready to go to my trip. Uh, I'm gonna be waking up at like five o'clock in the morning. We have to leave for six, so. I again, I really do hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you've enjoyed the scenery. This is Absolutely gorgeous. This is actually really very clean for Lake Ontario. Very impressive. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching once again, and I hope you have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace out.